<laughs> Betty Carter Jazz Ahead is a professional development program where we bring young artist composers to come to the Kennedy Center for a couple of weeks under the tutelage of master musicians. I, I know from experience, like to doing that. hone their craft as you know, members of a band, but also as composers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think maybe I'll like come up. Yes, yeah, that's better. It's a hard process because every artist shows up with their own bag of tricks, and then Betty Carter didn't like a bag of tricks. <laughs> like, have a conversation with it while these guys yeah. are going. Yeah. Yeah. Betty Carter was an indomitable force in the music. She kind of lived everything she said in her songs. You felt it in her phrasing, you felt it in her tuning, you felt it in the way she elongated a phrase. But behind the scenes, she had great influence over the way that people looked at young artists. There's something about that bravery she had by standing in the center of the stage, being the magnet for the band. And so I try to imbue that to the students, that there is, should be a level of excellence that you're striving for, and also a level of newness, too. There you too. go. That's a band, right? That's a band. That, that's a band. And they These are some of my heroes who are teaching here. <sighs> to be able to work with them in such an intimate and unique way, it's been really inspiring. Like you, you, it's, it's, They're not like saying it, things that, so you agree with everything they say. They're proposing another way to look at it. It's like a prism, you're like rotating it, and so now you see something else that you maybe didn't see before. They're really just giving us life lessons every 10 minutes. My personhood is seen and it is fostered here, and not just from a musical aspect. That's rare. Individuals come from all over the world. Praying from Israel from Japan, from Korea, you know, from Australia. For this sort of two-week intensive. You'll never know who's gonna show up with you, but it's more about what you become while you're here. It's so unique bringing your own compositions and playing other people's compositions. We're learning about each other through the music we're writing and through playing each other's music. I wrote it about my family. So you test things out. Maybe your song doesn't have yeah. lyrics and someone says we should put lyrics on this song. And we're really getting to get to the music in a different kind of way than what I've previously experienced. With a platform like the Kennedy Center, I felt like it was a place to really express myself in a way that maybe other stages didn't, I don't want to say deserve, but they didn't get it out of me. Uh, so just one more time. And then at the end of it all, we present two concerts here at the Millennium Stage. It's a privilege for anyone to be able to play there, let alone <laughs> a young kid like me. There's no doubt that you will grow as a musician and as a person. There's absolutely no way that that wouldn't happen. You won't be comfortable all the time, but I think if you're not comfortable all the time, that means you're learning a lot. It ensures that the new generation of musicians are given a space to take a risk. That's what we felt Betty Carter did for us. That's what she did for me. It's just illuminating every day. And I'm just reminded of the fact, this is where you get to tell your story. This is where your story begins. And that's what Betty Carter's Jazz Ahead is all about. Um, you think I was too short? Oh, we're not good. We're not good. Oh, now it feels like I have something. Right? You got it.